Hi everybody, for today's episode, I'm going to show you my version of fish tacos. These fish tacos are super easy to make. They're super delicious and you're gonna love the fish taco sauce. So, let's get started. Good morning, I'm Echo and welcome to Echo's Kitchen. Here are the ingredients. For the fish marinade, two pieces of fish fillets, one small lime, salt and pepper, two tablespoons of olive oil. For the fish taco platter, one cup of shredded lettuce, one ripe avocado cut in cubes, half of a small red onion, diced, half a cup of grape or cherry tomatoes cut in quarters, quarter of a cup of shredded parmesan cheese, a handful of chopped cilantro, and eight pieces of soft corn tortilla. For the fish taco sauce, three tablespoons of sour cream, three tablespoons of mayonnaise, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one small lime, and half a teaspoon of Tabasco or any hot sauce. First, we're gonna marinate the fish. Put the fish in a large bowl. Make sure that they've been cleaned and pat dry. Season with salt and pepper. Add some olive oil, then juice a small fresh lime into the fish. You can mix it with your hands or you can also use tongs and just make sure the fish are well coated in marinade. Leave it on the counter for about 10 to 15 minutes to marinate. While waiting for the fish to marinate, let's make the sauce. In a mixing bowl, combine the sour cream, mayonnaise, Tabasco, garlic powder, and the freshly squeezed lime juice. Mix it well, then taste to adjust. You can transfer the sauce into a squeeze bottle if you have it on hand. I like to make this sauce ahead of time so that I can keep it in the fridge for at least two hours to let the flavors blend. I find that giving the sauce some time really improves the taste. You can try it for yourself when you first mix it and then try it again after two hours. I'm certain you'll notice the difference. You guys, this sauce can last in the fridge for more than a week. Just make sure to store it in an airtight container. It's time to cook our fish. Add some olive oil in a frying pan over medium-high heat. Grill or pan fry the fish for two minutes on each side. Keep in mind that cooking time may vary depending on the size of your fish fillet. I'm using catfish for my tacos today. Snapper, mahi-mahi, halibut, or codfish are also great for fish tacos. After turning the fillet, I like to pour the leftover marinade onto my fish for added flavor. While you're cooking the fish, you can warm up the tortilla. Using tortilla straight from the fridge is not ideal because it can easily break and fall apart. That is why I highly recommend to heat them up first. You can either use the microwave, an oven, or you can grill them. Let me show you how. Put four tortilla on a microwavable plate and cover them with a damp paper towel. Put them in a microwave for about 30 second bursts until they are warm through and pliable. If you're feeding a crowd, then oven is your friend. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Take a stack of five and wrap them in an aluminum foil. You can do multiple packets of five tortilla each all at the same time. Place them in the middle rack of the oven and cook them for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they're warm and pliable. The last and my preferred method is grilling the tortilla in a non-stick grill pan, no oil required. Hit up the grill pan over medium-high and then cook the tortilla for about 30 seconds on each side. To keep them warm, place the tortilla in a lined bread basket if you have it on hand, then cover them with a clean kitchen cloth. You may have to do it one at a time, but if you want to get those beautiful grill marks on your tortilla, then it's worth the effort. Let's make the taco platter. Place the cooked fish onto the taco platter. Add the tomatoes, shredded lettuce, diced avocado, cilantro, diced red onion, and parmesan cheese. 
So now that we have everything all set, let's build our perfect fish tacos. First, arrange the tortilla in a serving plate. Add a bit of lettuce, cooked fish, tomatoes, avocado, in goes the red onion, cilantro, and parmesan cheese. Now drizzle a generous amount of fish taco sauce on top. I like to serve my fish tacos with fresh lime wedges on the side. Squeeze a tiny bit of fresh lime juice on top and all that is left to do now is savor this super yummy fish tacos. This food is so good, you're gonna wanna make it time and time again. Kenny and myself love this dish and I'm certain you're gonna love it too. Try it and let me know which method you like to use to warm up your tortilla. Leave me a comment below. As always, I would love to hear from you. That is it, you guys. Serve immediately and as always, enjoy! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more insightful videos and updates, please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to keep yourself updated with my upcoming videos. If you are on Facebook, please like and follow me at Survivor Echo. Also, I just recently reactivated my Instagram, so if you're on it, you can follow me at Spicy Bicolana and Echo's Kitchen 101. That is it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep safe, stay healthy, and always keep a positive mind. I'll see you on Wednesday, same time, same place. Have a great day. Bye.